My name is Dr. Anita Goel. I'm the chairman and CEO of NanoBioSyn, based in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Winning the X Challenge by Nokia has been wonderful for us because it actually helped uh, bring us out of stealth mode. For over 20 years, my own research has been at the intersection of nano, bio, and physics, and the tricorder represents uh, the synthesis of not only the nano sensors like we've developed in the Nokia X Challenge, but the integration of that into a platform. My parents had emigrated from India. I was born in Massachusetts, and when I was three, we moved down to this little rural town called Prentice, Mississippi. And on the one hand, I loved physics and mathematics. And on the other hand, my dad's a surgeon, so I used to spend a lot of time with him in the operating room. And by the time I was eight, I thought I was already an MD. In a lot of the traditional medical diagnostics, you've, they're more based by the disease system or the infection or the target, and less by an underlying principle of diagnosis. What we're doing in my company at NanoBioSim is we are actually building a next generation platform for that kind of diagnosis, the same gold standard, but in a mobilized platform that enables you to take that ability of diagnosing disease outside of a hospital or centralized pathology lab and bring it into a doctor's office, people's homes, uh, and even rural remote villages in the developing world. If you look at uh, what Google did for the internet, and what uh, the advent of cell phones did for the telecommunications industry. They decentralized access to that commodity, so they empowered a lot more people to have access to that. And there are four billion people today on Earth who don't have access to basic health care. So my belief is, is if we can scale technologies like our gene radar affordably, on a large scale and decentralize, mobilize, and personalize it, we have the ability in our lifetime to give those four billion people access to healthcare like they've never had before.